The stability running shoe game just got a whole lot more exciting. Today we're taking a look at the Saucony Tempest. Let's run with it. Now before we get started, I do want to say these shoes were provided to me by Roadrunner Sports. However, they didn't have a chance to preview this video and this final synopsis is my own. I'd also like to say please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing as it really helps me make these reviews. Here we go. The Tempest is a max cushion stability daily trainer that costs $160 from Saucony. However, the big selling point of the shoe and part of the reason I really liked it is it only weighs 8.9 ounces, which is really light for a stability daily trainer with this much cushion. Typically stability trainers kind of push into like the 11 ounce range and that's not the case here. At 8.9 ounces, it's relatively light and I think stability runners will be really happy with this shoe and I know I personally thoroughly enjoyed it. As far as stack heights are concerned, we get 36 and a half millimeters in the heel, 28 and a half in the forefoot, four and eight millimeter drop. It's quite a bit of cushion again for how light this shoe weighs. The upper is a single thin piece of engineer mesh, so I thought it had pretty decent breathability, especially in the toe box because you have these large slits which help with the ventilation. And on top of that, to kind of keep your foot well contained, they added some plastic overlays on the lateral side and the medial side and some thicker kind of plastic overlays, kind of feels like a ribbon that's fused to the upper on both again the lateral and the medial side that kind of connects into the top of the lacing system. Overall, the upper fit true to size. I thought the lockdown was excellent, very comfortable and no major complaints. I was actually pretty happy with it. The tongue is partially gusseted. There's a piece of fabric on both sides to keep the tongue in place. And we do get a tongue pull tab, which is a nice touch. As far as the padding goes, it's rather minimal. The top part of the tongue is basically two pieces of engineer mesh kind of folded on top of each other. It gives you a slightly plush experience. And I do mean slightly, it just has a very minimal amount of padding. And then the rest of the bottom half of the tongue is basically a thin piece of material with some large slits in it for additional ventilation or breathability. Now, overall, it worked well. I was pretty happy with it. It's very similar to the, the Speed 2 experience. I do wish, however, they added a little bit more padding or maybe some foam blocks and things like that. Uh, sometimes, like if you're on a longer run or just want to have the shoe on all day, I do like to have just a little bit more kind of protection from lace pressure. Now, I realize you're doing this to kind of reduce weight and kind of increase breathability, but you know, I, I think a few, again, a few foam blocks, maybe just a little bit more extra cushion in the tongue area, I think would go a long way. Moving to the back of the shoe, we do get a relatively sturdy internal heel counter that kind of wraps around your foot keeps you really well connected to this stability shoe. Now, as far as the padding goes and the ankle and Achilles area, it's very minimal. Same story as like the Speed 2, the Ride, and the Guide. Personally, this works really well for me. It's kind of that nice sweet spot, not too plush, not too minimal, and gives you a nice level of comfort. Now, the overall lockdown fit and security of this shoe I thought was really good. It worked very well for me. I do wish I had a little bit more padding in the tongue. I know, kind of add that to the wish list, but overall, I thought the lockdown fit and comfort was very good. And of course, we have to talk about this pull tab. It's a stretchy piece of material. It works well. It's a little bit annoying to kind of dig your finger into it or kind of get your finger around it to pull it. But other than that, it's a pull tab. It gets the job done. Moving on to the midsole. This is where all the excitement takes place and I think is a big leap forward in the stability shoe running game. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, historically, stability running shoes don't have the most fun foams. They don't have the liveliest ride. It doesn't feel like a pop underfoot. And, you know, typically the shoe's a little bit heavier and it's just not the most exciting option. I think the Tempest changes that. And a big reason for that is we now get Power Run P. B. It's a dual density foam setup within the midsole. It's gonna be Power Run and Power Run PB. So let's talk about Power Run PB first. Power Run PB is one of Saucony's super foams. It's very light, bouncy, and soft. It's very fun to run in. A lot of people loved it on the Speed 2 up there in the corner. I thoroughly enjoyed that shoe. It's very light and fast, and I'm happy they included it here in the Tempest. Now, because Power Run PB is gonna be that softer, a little bit bouncier, it makes it a little bit more unstable, so they had to pair it with Power Run, which is different than Power Run PB. I realize that's kind of confusing, but Power Run is a TPU slash EVA mix, which makes it a little bit more dense and a little bit more stable. The more dense Power Run foam provides stability to the Tempest through its tooling. Essentially, it's a foam frame. You can actually see it. it goes from the top of the forefoot, kind of wraps around up to the heel side, and then we get a massive chunk on the medial side. This is primarily what provides that stability towards the medial side of the shoe, and then it kind of fades down through the forefoot. The rest of the midsole is gonna be made up of that Power Run PB foam, which is super exciting, because typically stability shoes don't get these light and fun foams. 
quite a bit of it in the forefoot. You have a nice level of pop and energy return. And as we move to the back of the shoe, there's quite a bit of it in the heel as well. Uh, more of it's on the lateral side than on the medial side, again, because you have a large chunk of that power run foam providing stability, keeping your foot from rolling to the inside. I thought the shoe had a nice level of energy return, had a nice level of pop for being a stability shoe, and it was just quite fun to run in. It felt very lively. Uh, you do notice the structure and the medial support, especially in the arch area, but overall, I didn't feel like a clunky stability shoe it had a nice level of energy return just because there was so much of that light and fun power run PB foam featured in the forefoot and in the heel section. Again, there's gonna be more of it on the lateral side than the medial side, just because that's where the stability comes from with that power run frame that really does have a big chunk of it there and then wraps around the shoe. So it keeps your foot from rolling to the inside. The other thing I'll say is the Tempest doesn't have the most pronounced speed roll or rocker geometry to it. You do get a little bit of a roll as you kind of hit the toe off, but it's not as pronounced compared to something like the Endorphin Shift or the Speed 2, so I would just keep that in mind. So overall, I thought the ride of the Tempest was quite fun, energetic, and just exciting for a stability shoe, which seems kind of strange because typically stability shoes aren't that exciting. Another thing I'll say is the stability mechanisms aren't that intrusive. The power run frame kind of acts as like a guide rail system to keep your foot aligned with a little bit more support on the medial side, some nice arch support as well, but it didn't, again, feel super intrusive, super, super out of place like an Ultra Max stability shoe. So if that's something you want, I might go in a different direction but I think even neutral runners can get away with using this just because it doesn't, again, it doesn't feel like a very intrusive, overbearing stability experience and just has a nice level of pop to it because of that Power Run PB foam. So that's part of why I like this shoe so much. It just worked well for my running style and really kind of separated itself for being an ultra max cushion, lightweight, fun stability shoe. Moving to the outsole, we get a very wide forefoot and heel area, which makes sense because this is a stability shoe and this wider base helps with the inherent stability of the ride. And you definitely feel this, there's quite a bit of ground contact. You can also see that Power Run PB foam core that extends the entire length of the shoe wrapped by that Power Run foam frame that provides the stability. And then on top of that, you have pretty good rubber coverage. It kind of feels like all the same hardness throughout the entire outsole. The grip I thought was quite good. I'm actually happy with the amount of rubber coverage here. Typically when they try to make a light shoe, they strip it all away or give you very strategic amounts. But here I think we get a generous amount of rubber uh, and I'm very happy or I'm very optimistic about the longevity here. So those are the basic facts about the shoe. Let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like so much. The first big positive for me is I think the Tempest changes the expectations of what a stability shoe can and potentially should be. Most of the time, those fun, light, super bouncy foams are exclusively safe for super shoes or for fun, neutral road running shoes. And the stability crowd kind of gets left out of that. And I think that changes here because we get a nice foam frame with the harder, more dense EVA foam and then the Power Run PB, that fun, light, bouncy foam gets integrated and you feel it without having to sacrifice too much of the stability. So I think that's a good news story. I'm happy to see Saucony kind of stepping up and I think the Tempest is gonna be very popular. It's This is honestly one of my probably favorite shoes I run in just because it gives you that nice level of stability. If I want that, I'm like when I'm extremely tired and my form's breaking down, I think I'm gonna go for this because it's fun, yet it provides stability, which, most stability shoes don't provide that or don't give that level of fun, if you will. I think I'm gonna keep saying the word fun because it's just, it feels so great to have a stability shoe with a little bit of bounce and energy return to it. The next positive for me was the fit of the upper. It kept me well connected to the midsole, which I think is a very underrated thing in the running shoe world. If you have a great platform, everyone talks about the foams, the plates and all of that. But if you don't have a great upper that connects you to that great platform, it kind of becomes a whole separate issue. So for me, I thought the upper kept me well connected to this great platform and provided an excellent experience. The next positive for me was the outsole wide platform. I thought the grip was good and I'm happy to see they kept quite a bit of rubber here, which helps with longevity and just overall traction. So I think that's a nice big plus considering they're making this a light shoe. However, the Tempest wasn't perfect and there are a couple things that can probably be improved. The first thing I would probably change is the tongue. Now it's not a deal breaker and it's not a fatal flaw. The tongue works, it's fine, it's just not great. Wish it had a little bit more padding. It has a decent amount of padding at the top. I wish they would add some strategic foam blocks throughout the tongue, just give you a little bit more comfort in that area. Again, not bad, I just think it could be slightly improved. The next thing I would potentially change is the upper. Now you're probably wondering, Ryan, didn't you just say the upper was great and it worked really well and all of that? And that's correct, I did but I think it could be improved to be even better and make the shoe even lighter. If they kind of stripped it down almost to what they have on the Speed 2, I think it would go a long way. Even the, I think like the Ride 15, if they had that kind of upper, maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit more minimal, maybe a little bit more breathable, I think it would go a long way. Again, this upper, it's breathable, it works, it's thin, it's fine, it's a good upper. I just think, why not just make it a little bit lighter, kind of like some of your other shoes out there. It reduces the weight, makes it more breathable, and just provides, I think, a better experience in my mind. Now, I think the, the counter argument to that is, you know, maybe it's not as well contained 
lane, but I think you can kind of get around that with some strategic placement of like lacing and plastic overlays and things like that. So I think the upper is great. It just could be elevated to a next level to be even more breathable and lighter. So where does that leave us? Well, I'm gonna say Tempest is one of my favorite daily training running shoes of 2022 so far. It's not overbearing with regards to stability. It's light, bouncy. It works really well for when I'm tired and my form breaks down. It's just fun to run in, which is weird to say about a stability shoe, but I really enjoy it. Now, I, I realize everyone's situation is different in my running style. I think it pairs very well with this shoe, but I think it's a good option. I think a lot of people are going to like it for the stability needs, or if they just want something with a little bit more support, I think the Tempest works very well, especially because we finally get a fun bouncy foam in a stability shoe. Now, if you're someone who wants a true max stability shoe with uh, a true plastic uh, trussic system and a little bit more support, I'd probably go in a different direction. However, if you're someone like me that wants just a little bit of support, something to kind of pair well with like when you're tired or just kind of want to use a fun stability shoe, I think this will work well. Well, that concludes my review. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Tempest and do you think more stability shoes should start to look like this? Well, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Running Reviews. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.